What's going on everybody? This is Rick from Studio Spades again. Um, I just wanted to share a quick video with you all for uh, my updated shader pack. It's the X-ray and hologram shader pack available um, on Blender Market as well as my own website. Um, it has been updated with quite a lot of new features. Um, let me just pause it right here. Um, because the previous version 1.5 only had uh, three FX layers and the new one has two extra, bring it to a total of five layers. So your materials can be way more complex. And um, the good thing is I've made it even easier for you to um, make your own variations because everything is laid out in this quite logical manner um, with some newly annotated um, explanatory titles above them. Um, so yeah, let me just quickly go through it. I want to make this video a bit shorter than the, the previous one. Um, on top of that, in this time you get um, 10 preset materials. So you get the five you got in version 1.5, which are these. Uh, really awesome materials. But as you can see, this is a less complex setup. It's an older setup, um, but you still get the materials. Uh, just make sure that when you uh, make new materials, you use the more expanded setup from 1.6 which is uh, this project file that you get. Um, I've just used them on this model right now because I really like the, the Sabertooth cat model, but the, the model is not included. You, you get this project file and this one with the older presets. So this is version 1.5, 1.6. This is 1.6 with another model, which I'm just showing you for uh, demonstration purposes. Um, so quickly going through it, we have an animation node. I've reduced it to one output so you can control every speed with one node. Um, they're all procedurally animated. Uh, let me just mute or hide some of the models so that it renders a bit quicker in the viewport. This is Eevee. It works also in cycles. Um, and with the animate node, you can either speed up or slow down all the movement. Um, most of the effects layers though, and the mask layers have a speed multiplier. So you can now multiply or slow down the speed of that layer in the custom node. Um, and these five layers all have their own effect. Some are turned on, some are turned off for every preset. Um, but basically every preset you just saw is made with the same material, um, but just by changing some colors or turning off or on a layer, you get very different results. Uh, so that's the beauty of this uh, shader. It's very versatile and very easy for you to, to make your own. So you kind of have to read it in a um, grid-like manner. So vertical, and horizontal. Everything you see here is connected to this PSDF shader. This one right here. So in a horizontal manner, manner um, you go from left to right. So this Fresnel node deals with the visibility. Uh, it goes into the effect, which in this case is a stripe pattern. Let me just see if it's turned on in this one. Yeah, you should be able to see this one. Um, you can see a slight stripe pattern here. It's not very obvious in this um, shader, but the beauty of it is uh, thanks to the Fresnel node, from certain angles, certain layers get more visible than others. You, you can see a grid pattern here moving up. 
but it disappears at a certain angle. Pretty cool. Um, so that's basically what happens with the five layers. They all use Fresnel nodes to uh, deal with visibility, giving this cool hologram slash X-ray look. Um, so yeah, we have five layers, stripes, dots, or pixels. Um, we have a wave pattern and the two new ones are a Voronoi layer and whoops a radar wipe i guess i forgot to name this one but you can see it here i will update that uh, soon so yeah effects layers uh goes into a mask two mask um, mixers here the left one deals with the left mask. These are three overlapping stripe patterns. And the right mask, the orange node here, is a, a wave pattern, which is the right node every time. So everything is, all the masks are connected to these left and right, left and right nodes. And all the layers go into those two masks. And you can mix them in. Um, by the amount you want to mix them in. And then they all go to their own BSDF node, which um, gets mixed here. But you basically don't, don't even have to touch this entire section. You don't need to change this because A, when you make changes to, to this section, the whole shader recompiles, which is slow and annoying. Uh, and B, basically everything that you would want to control is already controllable on this side and you don't have to recompile so that's faster to use um, so if you want things to be less bright or more bright just change the colors which is kind of like mixing and matching everything you can turn up the brightness by turning up the color brightness and this way you don't have to recompile the entire shader which which takes some computing power and makes things slower so yeah um definitely recommend using that and um the fresnel node allows you to blend in now you can see the stripe pattern more clearly which i was talking about earlier uh, the fresnel node out allows you to blend certain effects also making things more visible or not. So it's not recommended to tweak this because when you do, see, now it disappears and you have to recompile. Oh, I turned off data. See, it's loading. That's just very annoying to work with. So basically just don't touch this section and leave it as is and I've put a reminder here that you don't need to change mixing these causes recompile. It's faster to use the Fresnel and color ramps. See the dark blue frames. So everything that's dark blue, uh, this frame, for example, that deals with mixing and visibility. Uh, same goes for this dark blue frame here, which deals with the mixing and visibility of the mask and the other mask. So as you can see, I annotated everything, stripe patterns, but they give, but they mask visibility. And this is also stripe pattern, but it's the, the visible stripe pattern. And then you have the other patterns here down here. So everything is annotated uh, with clear descriptions. I think that the flow is pretty logical. Like I said, it's like a grid. So this is layer one, this is layer two, layer three, layer four, layer five. And you have two masks that get mixed in with everything. This deals with the, the animation speed. And this is the emission for all the layers. Um, so it's a 200 right now. Again, you can change this and then change the emission for everything. But um, if you want to get more uh, yeah personalized control 
for the other layers I just recommend um, yeah doing it in the color ramps here or even the the color ramps that deal with the color because um, yeah it's just a faster way to do it now you can clamp effects let me see this is a wave pattern here so that should be this one the wave of course like I said you can easily change colors make it your own maybe grab the other one whoops make it blue cool so super easy to, to make it your own change it up maybe clamp effects so this looks clamped as you can see you can see slight changes in the visibility of the layer see that's with all five layers so you can clamp it maybe uh, inverse the effect even flip the color ramp super easy to tweak and um, blend or not yeah really cool so that's uh, definitely faster than using the uh, the mixing of PSDFs and that's basically it it's it's quite simple um, but when you stack up multiple layers that are quite simple you can get quite complex effects and all nodes all patterns have their parameters exposed they're custom nodes but everything that you would want to control is controllable um, so you know don't need to dive in uh, the layers basically you can control everything from this this screen right here and you can get going making your own holograms or x-ray materials of course you don't need to animate anything you can uh, turn off the animate node and that will make a static material so um, yeah I hope you like it I've been working quite hard on it um, and in the newest update you get 10 presets these are the five new ones that come with uh, version 1.6 really loving the ease of use this is a sort of water material you can get crazy uh, with just one shader it, it does quite a lot um, and like I said it's um, built for uh, ease of use and customizability and it works in EV as well as cycles and they um, basically look identical in uh, EV and cycles I can switch the cycles right now give it a minute looks like there's a bit less glow or bloom in the viewport but that's it you can also tweak that in uh, compositing or maybe um, software like After Effects if you want I tend to use um, the glow in compositing software because I, then I can control it myself after I've rendered it because if you don't like the glow in the render from Blender you have to re-render everything so definitely recommend adding it uh, later but you're free to do it um, in Blender as well because um, Eevee has a nice glow that you can render out so yeah that's it uh, pretty simple and uh, if you have any questions just let me know well that's it I uh, hope you enjoy it hope you enjoyed it back and um, let me know what you think this is how you get the the file with the Suzanne's and a reminder to press play because they're animated and these are the, the legacy presets that you also get I hope to hope to update it uh, again soon um, and give you more presets because with every update I tend to make uh, five presets 
So hopefully in the next update, you'll get 15. And um, yeah, you can quickly make cyberpunk fantasy or sci-fi renders. So um, hope you enjoy it. And uh, your feedback is always welcome. Take care.